Hello everyone. Welcome to Physics Tutorial. My name is Ganga Bhavani. In this series of videos, we are going to learn about fundamentals of physics. In this session specially, first we will learn what is physics. It's a very common question to every child when he enters into studies. Before saying about that, let me give a small historical information about the word physics. The word physics derived from a Greek word called physic, which means the knowledge of nature. What does that mean? Every day we are combining our regular activities with nature and we are using physics in our daily regular activities without noticing it. But our ancient people observed and studied what's happening around them, just like Newton. What Newton did? He just observed the things happening around him. That's why we got so many laws and theorems and also we came to know that Earth has some attractional force which is called gravity. Our scientists divided their study of universe into many branches. One of the branches, science. Science again divided into many branches like biology, zoology, chemistry, maths, physics, etc. Biology deals with life and living things, structure, function, growth, evolution, distribution, identification, etc. Zoology deals with behavior, structure, classification and distribution of animals. Mathematics deals about quantity means numbers, space, change. Every day we are using mathematics to count something and to calculate something in our daily activities. Chemistry deals about structure and properties of matter. Here comes our question again, what is physics? Let me define physics. A branch of science which deals about the properties of matter and energy. Let's have a deep look into the definition once again. Here the question raises again, what is matter and energy? Matter, a physical substance which occupies some space and has rest mass. Let me take an example. Let's take a car. It's a physical substance which occupies some space and has some rest mass. It's nothing but it's a matter. Pen, it's a matter. Pencil, it's a matter. Laptop, it's a matter. This matter again divided into five categories, which are bosons and condensates, solids, liquids, gases, plasmas. Energy. The ability to do work is called energy. Let's take an example. A person is trying to pull a car. He is using his internal capacity to pull that car. He is using his internal ability to pull that car. So it's nothing but he is using his energy to pull the car, or to move the car from one place to another place. So, physics explains about the interaction of matter with energy. The main goal of physics is to understand how the universe behaves. So friends, I want to give a small suggestion to the students, those who are studying 10th, 11th, 12th standards. There is a chance to get a question about what is physics for two months in the exams. So, Please go ahead and have a look once again about the definition clearly. Hope you all like this video. See you soon in my next session. Thank you.